This is how you can show a different banner image on desktop than on mobile on any Shopify theme. If you're using the Dawn theme, if you're using a premium theme, this technique will work. In fact, you will be able to use this technique to show and hide any sections of your theme. So you will be able to pick and choose the sections you want to show on mobile and the sections you want to show on desktop. Let me show you how that's done. I'm gonna use the Dawn theme for this example. I am now on the version 15. Point three. So this is how it looks. This is the slideshow that it comes with. And this is mobile friendly. If you go and you inspect it and you see it in a mobile version, you will see that it is scaling down for mobile devices, but it is using the same image. But if you're shopping on big Shopify stores like Albert's, you will see that they will show a desktop version of the image and they will show a mobile version of that image. So if I go on the mobile version, the image is this one. If I go to the desktop version, the image is this one. And they are obviously different, but how can we achieve this with the Dawn theme, for example? And the technique I'm gonna show you is not only for the Dawn theme and not only for the slideshow section. You can actually use it on any section that you have on your theme. So for example, if you wanna have a different feature a products section on your mobile version, you can go ahead and do that. But for the sake of this example, I'm going to apply this technique to this banner image section. So I'm gonna go back to my theme and in order to apply this, I am going to edit some code. Don't be afraid of that because I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So I know that I'm using on this theme, the image banner section. If you wanna know what section you're using, you're gonna to have to go to your customized dashboard and you're gonna see the sections there. This is the section I am using the image banner. On the Dawn theme, you're gonna have a slideshow section as well. In case you have the slideshow section there, you can still apply this, but I'm gonna to go to my image banner section in the code editor. So in order to do that, I'm gonna hit these three dots and then I'm going to click on edit code. And in the code editor, I'm going to search for the image banner section. You're probably gonna see something like this. You'll just have to go in here and search for your section. In my case, image banner and I'm gonna open that section up and this is the code for that section. What you're gonna have to do is go in the description of this video and find this guide. You're gonna find it there. So first of all, we're gonna take this line here and we are going to assign a variable inside that section. So we're gonna go here at the end of the first line, we're gonna hit enter and we're going to paste that line in there, but we're not gonna save just yet. Then in the guide, you're gonna go and you're gonna grab the second thing, which is this class. This is actually a class that is made up of the word visibility, then minus visibility variable, which we just assigned and then the section ID so that this class is actually unique. So I'm gonna just copy this and go back to my code editor and you will have to enter this class in the parent container. And that means that you're gonna scroll down to the first HTML container, which for me is this div here. It can be a section container or different types of containers. No matter the type of container, you just have to go inside the class of the container and add this class in there like that. So now we have class equals and we have visibility, visibility, and then the rest of the classes that the container had before. In case your container doesn't have any class defined, you just need to add this class equals and quotation marks and inside the quotation marks, you can add the class that we just copied. But because my container already had classes, I just added it inside there. Now, after adding this class, I'm going to go back to my notes and I'm going to copy everything in here. And this is the markup for our schema. That means that we will be able to go inside the customized dashboard and we're gonna have controls there so that we don't have to enter any code. So you're just gonna copy this and head back to the section. And at the bottom, we're gonna find the schema, but if you want to search for it, we can do that too. So you're gonna search for schema and hit enter. And where the schema starts, you're gonna look for settings. And then after this square bracket, you are going to hit enter and you're going to paste what you've copied. And now we have one more step and we can go ahead and save. I'm gonna open the guide again. And in here, I have one more style tag that I have to copy and I'm gonna go back to my section and I'm going to paste my style tag right here above the schema. 
After doing that, I'm going to save. And at this point, all my image banners will have a new setting that will allow me to define if that image banner is to be shown on mobile, on desktop or on both. Let me show you how that works. So now from the code editor, I'm going to go to customize theme. And in here, I'm going to go to my image banner. And I'm going to see that at the top of the image banner, I have a new setting display on and desktop, mobile and both. And by default, it's set to be shown on both. So now I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to show this only on desktop. If I go now and I render it for mobile, I'm not going to have a slideshow anymore or an image banner. I'm going to go back to desktop and I'm going to select my image and I'm going to add the image for desktop, which is this one over here. So I'm going to display this image on desktop. Of course, you can fiddle with the section settings. What we've done so far is not going to change your section at all, other than showing it on desktop or on mobile. And when you're done with that, you're just going to save. And now if I go and I preview my theme, I'm going to have a desktop banner, which looks like this. If I'm going to go to mobile, I'm not going to have a banner at all. And that's because the setting I have says now that this banner is only to be shown on desktop. And to add a banner for mobile, I'm going to go back in here. So now I have the image banner for desktop. I'm going to go inside the section and I'm going to say duplicate. So you have these three buttons here. You're going to click them and you're going to duplicate your section so that you have all the settings on the section. And now you can go ahead and say this is for mobile and then you can go ahead and change the image with the image that you have for mobile. So you're going to click there. You're going to select from library or you're going to upload it depending on your situation and you are going to save when you're done. So now if I go back to my theme and I refresh, I have a banner for desktop and if I go and I inspect it, I'm going to have a banner for mobile and they are completely independent. You can upload whatever image and you can have any setting on any of these two. So you can play around and create different experiences for mobile users than for desktop users. Again, the code that I've used for this is inside the description of this video and you can go ahead and add this to any section that you have on your store. For example, if you're using the slideshow section, which might be the case, you can go ahead and edit the slideshow section now. I'm going to go and I'm going to edit code and inside the code editor, I'm going to look for my slideshow section. In here, I'm going to go to the first step. I'm going to apply the technique to this section. In this case, we have the slideshow component and I'm going to add the class in here in the slideshow component container because this is the parent container. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to add the schema and then I'm going to add the style tag and I'm going to save and head back to my customizer and now my slideshow section has the setting where if I go and I say mobile only and I go and I save it's going to disappear from desktop and only show on mobile. So you can do this with any section and you can build a completely different version of your website for mobile for example. And now that you know how to show a different image banner on desktop than on mobile, I think you'll be interested in seeing this video here in which I'm going to show you how you can add a video banner section on your store. Click it and I'll see you there.